There. Okay. Okay. Awesome. I can hear myself. Time to go live. Going live. You're live. Hello, everyone. I'm Santiago Santiago, and today I'm going to be testing Resident Evil Village, the full game on the GTX 1050 Ti, uh, 570, 1650, and 1650 Super. Maybe the 750 Ti at the end. How are you guys doing? Good seeing you here. Sorry it took me a while to get to this game. It released at 1 a.m. in my country. I had a lot to do today, so sorry I'm late. Here I am. How's it going, guys? Good seeing you all here. How's it going? Hang on, I gotta publish this on Instagram. I I hate that, that I have to do that, but hey, you know, YouTube sometimes dodgy dodgy notifications. <laughs> Let's leave it at that. Hey, Mohamed H, how's it going? Hang on, almost there. Link in bio. Yeah, I'm not even bothering with doing a huge description. I'll just put a link in bio. Come on, join me on my live stream. Uh, okay, beautiful. There we go. Okay, go back so I can read the chat. Hey, guys. So no 750Di. 750Di at the end. Because it, I have a lot of issues with it in general when doing new games. So I'll leave it for the end in case we got time. Good to see you guys again as well. How are you going? Okay, so we're going to start with high settings and we're going to try multiple things. So let's first try it with high settings. Apparently Capcom now switched the VRAM usage gauge. Now it's significantly more demanding on the VRAM side according to the options menu. So now one gigabyte high is a lot of VRAM. So yeah. Anyways, let's put it on one gigabyte. If it goes over the VRAM limit, we're going to adjust it. But at the moment, we're using high settings. Basically, let's keep this on SSAO. Now, let's keep it like this. And we're going to try the lowest settings after this. So yeah, patience, guys. We're going to see that performance difference first. And then we're going to start doing some tweaks here and there. So yeah, 1080p high. Let's start with the game right away. On standard mode, I, I haven't played this game at all. I only played the demo, and that's about it. So yeah, hang on. Going to skip everything. You know how it goes, guys. No spoilers, if I can do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stop being creepy. Okay, I'm at the, I'm at the house. So, okay, so while I'm at the house, this is the highest settings, guys. Mute? What do you mean? <laughs> You cannot hear it. Okay. Anyways, so as I was saying, this is almost the highest settings. So let's we have 48 FPS by looking at this place. Let's go to the lowest now. Let's see the performance difference. So 48 versus no fidelity effects. Blah 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 blah. So 48 versus what? We're about to find out. This goes to low, this is off, this is this is on, it improves performance, the shadow cache. Okay, now lower settings, let's see the difference. So we were at 48, now we're at <laughs> 62, okay. So by lowering the setting to the lowest, we got like 14 FPS more. So that's kind of an issue in my book. It should be a bigger difference, but the game still looks very good on low. So yeah. Interesting, interesting, interesting. So we're going to stick to high settings. <laughs> Doesn't seem to be worth doing anything else, really. So we're using Fidelity FX, TAA. Let's go to anisotropic filtering, meshes on max. It doesn't make a lot of difference. I mean, occlusion, we're going to keep it on SSAO. Reflections, yes, please. Ball measure gliding on medium. We're using similar settings to Resident Evil 2, basically. Yeah, maybe medium shadows. And that should be it. I mix it between medium and high. That should be good to go. And then to improve performance to 60 frames, we're doing the interlace mode, which is a real way to improve performance. So yeah, hang on guys. Going to start the recording right away. So yeah, this is a mix between medium and high. And some people are telling me that when you're fighting the daughters of, of the tall lady, um, you still get drops in performance, so yeah. Can't, quite disappointing, but what's to be expected, really? 
So yeah, 1080p. Basically medium to high settings, that's what I'm using. Maximum mesh quality because it doesn't make a lot of difference. We only lowered the ambient occlusion, the volumetric lighting, the shadows, and that's basically it. Not a lot of leeway in this options menu. And there's no FOB slider for the people asking. No FOB slider as of yet. So yeah, that's super disappointing. Camera wobble, no thanks. So yeah, there's a mod you can find on the internet that allows you to change the FOB. There's no FOB slider, so keep that in mind. Anyways, let's go back to the game now. So we have our daughter here. Saludos de Colombia, bueno, saludos de Uruguay. Okay, not this way, I think. Mia makes everything by hand, so this stuff keeps piling up. Hell yeah. She does. RX 570, yeah, after this one. Patience, please. I'm working on it. Slowly but surely. All right. Oh my. No, stop crying. This is Jacques 6 all over again. Uh, ¿Qué tanto se pueden bajar los gráficos? No mucho, la verdad. Se ve bastante bien en bajo. For the people asking how much you can lower the graphics, you can lower it to low, but the game doesn't look that much worse, really. It looks pretty good still on the lowest settings, but you get like a 10 FPS difference on the lowest, so I don't think it's worth lowering the settings. You're better off lowering the resolution or just in the interlace mode. So yeah, is it this way? No, not here. I wish I could move faster with the baby. But I, I guess I have to be gentle. Yo, Berat Binder, how's it going, man? You need to test in other maps? Yeah, of course. <laughs> patience, patience. This is the very start of the game, so here we are. There we go. Go to sleep, baby. I want to shoot monsters. There you go, sweetheart. There you go, sweetheart. And thank you so much, Berat Vindir, sorry if I messed that up, for becoming an awesome supporter 1.0. I hope you enjoyed your icon next to your name and the emojis that you now have available. Thank you so much for supporting the channel, man. I appreciate it a lot. Hope you're having a great day. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, yeah. What What now? Ha 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 ha. Can I play with that 1063 gigs? Yeah, just make sure to lower those textures. You have very little VRAM, and this game destroys VRAM. So, yeah, make sure to, to do that. I'm doing fine. What about you, man? Doing great. Not sure what I have to do now, though. Oh, Mia. Hey, wifey. Hey, Epic Center, or Epicenter. Going to skip, skip it, skip. No spoilers, please. Let me skip. Okay, we're getting there. Patience. My little angel. Oh, so cute. Until it starts crying. When it starts crying, well, not a little angel for long. Hola, ¿cómo andan? Okay, as you can see, guys, now that we are in a different area, we got a bigger performance hit. So you're basically over 30 frames. I'll probably change shadows to high. Allow me one second. As you can see on the on these settings, you're not getting 60 even at the lowest. So let me increase the shadows to high. It doesn't seem to make a huge performance hit. Let's give that a shot. So the shadows look a little bit better, at least. Now that we're targeting 30, we might as well do it correctly. And after this, we do 60s. So patience, patience. We're getting there. So 1080p, normal mode, interlace mode will be used later for 60 frames per second. So again, probably 900p is the best option for this GPU. But as of right now, this is what we got. So yeah, I mean one FPS less by using this. Let's go this way. Uh, playable on RX 550, 2 gigs. With 2 gigs of VRAM, it's pretty difficult, I'd say. I can't aim my flashlight, or what the hell? Stop moving slowly, Ethan. Holy hell. 
Saludos de Argentina. Bueno, saludos desde Uruguay. Todo bien. Uh, I am fine either. Excited to play the game. Well, good to know. The game looks interesting. This reminds me of the start of Resident Evil 4, actually. Oh, okay. Somebody died here. It's useless. Yeah, agreed. <laughs> This reminds me of the start of Resident Evil 4 because there's uh, someone dead by a car. Yeah, I, I probably have to go that way, I think. ¿Se podrá jugar una GT 730? No lo creo. Usa mucha memoria de video. Okay, let's go that way. Ethan doesn't want to use the flashlight correctly, but that's fine. We're going to go in a straight line. So weird that we're looking into a, just snow and we get 30 frames per second. ¿Qué dice Gabriel de Caterina? ¿Todo bien? Okay, I think it's this way. I wish I could just point my flashlight in front instead of pointing at the ground. But oh, that's fine. I'm not judging. Me asusté cuando hablo español. Bueno, perdón, perdón. Okay. Some noise. Come on, Ethan. Move your booty. All right, jump scare. Ouch. That hurts. Where is 1650 Super? It's coming. You gotta be patient. We're getting there eventually. But I don't know why I can put the flashlight just in front of me. It has to point at the ground, really. Okay, some blood. Normal, normal things. I see that in the forest all the time. In Uruguay. Oh, dead crows. Not good. Usually crows. Dead crows is not a good sign. Oh, man. Any performance difference between the. Whoa! Between the full game and this and the demo? Uh, hang on, I got scared for a second. So as I was saying, yeah, it seems to run the same as the demo so far. We're going to get to the village eventually. But uh, yeah, with these settings on the village before, we got similar numbers to this. So it seems to be the same. We'll see once we keep playing. I'm trying to advance a little bit. But it's too dark. <laughs> I cannot see a, a dank thing. Sí, con la 570 vale más bien. Guys, if you have a 570, it will be fine as well. Don't worry. Okay, down here maybe. Oh, pigs. Okay, finally something is going on. Jump scare. Oh no. I don't like this at all. <laughs> Any guns? Okay. Nothing here. Is there any water? Nope. Um, any guns? Oh man, I hate that noise. The audio is so good that I get scared just by hearing. <laughs> Jesus. No jump scares, please. I'm very susceptible to those. Oh no, I have to go downstairs. Please, nothing jump at me. Please. I'm such a coward, Jesus Christ. Oh, I hate dark spaces. Somebody is expecting me this way. I think. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, no. <laughs> GT 1030, yeah, coming later. Probably tomorrow. We'll see. Whoa. Okay, what was that? Okay, somebody's expecting me upstairs. So we're going that way. Let's go back up. Come on. Yeah, I'm expecting worse numbers in the village, but we'll see. The demo was fine. So this should be okay. I'm closing my eyes. Because somebody is expecting me here and I don't want to see. <laughs> I'm scared. Oh, more blood. Great. I cannot skip this. Oh, God. See, the video funciona, Sean. Guys, if you, have, if you have a four core, four thread CPU, you should be fine. You should be able to get 60s if your GPU can handle it. Finally, daytime. I can see. Great, great, fantastic. Finally, good news. I can actually see outside now. Let's run, run, run. Yeah, FPS, at least on these settings, we're getting 30s. We'll see if that stays that way. 
Although I can, I probably have to lower those textures. It's getting a little too strong for this GPU. I mean the settings. Let me see if I can fix this performance. Here it's kind of rough. <laughs> Let's see if lowering the textures helps in any way. Hang on, guys. Yeah, 26, 25. Let's go down here. And we're going to lower those textures. Let's see if that changes in real time. We're going to put it on zero gigabytes, <laughs> because why not? And if I lower those textures... Yeah, it doesn't seem to change in real time. Maybe I have to restart the game for that. So let's keep it like it was, and we're going to lower the um, ambient occlusion. Ambient occlusion usually is a good bet to get extra performance right away. No fidelity effects. And the ambient occlusion, let's disable it for now. Or hang on, maybe the volumetric lighting. That usually killed the frame rate in the second game. Nope. That didn't change anything, so we're going to lower the ambient occlusion. <laughs> Wish me luck. Oh man, such a huge drop. That's worse than the demo, that's for sure. And the shadows to medium. Sure, why not? Let's give it a shot. Okay, that helped a little bit. Maybe the draw distance. I'm running out of ideas. Draw distance, maybe. Oh my, this is not looking good. Yeah, no, that's not working. We're going to try presets now. It's going to be quicker. Oh, I cannot use presets. Ugh. Okay, okay, no panic, no panic. We got this, we got this, we got this. <laughs> so the mesh quality didn't make a difference. That's fine, I was expecting that. The reflections maybe. And let's keep shadows on high, no contact shadows. And that should do. Okay, no, that didn't change much at all. Let's advance and let's see what happens. Maybe it fixes itself, but doesn't seem to be the case. I mean, look at this. So many transparencies. <laughs> it's kind of dying. Even lowering the shadows didn't seem to do. Oh, it's fixed. Yeah, it seemed to be that place very tall up there. I'm going to lower shadows further, yeah, yeah, but still, that doesn't seem to be good enough. So let's keep going down. Let's put it on low. Sure, why not? That's kind of disappointing. Yeah, I mean, doesn't seem to be much of a difference at all. This part doesn't seem to like the GPU that much. Yeah, I mean, this part, for some reason, when I'm standing here, it drops like crazy, but now it's fine. Kind of odd, if you ask me. Let me see if I restart the checkpoint, what happens. Como para cambiar la sensibilidad? Eh, pa, yo le subí los DPI al mouse, y me complique la vida. Okay, so here we are again, and now it's fine. What the hell? Okay, we're going to keep those shadows on low. Let's play it on low. Let's, let's be safe, let's play it on low. So let's play 1080p low, we're going for that one. Let's see if we can at least stay over 30. So we keep it on TAA. Mesh quality, we keep it on high, but it doesn't make a huge difference. We keep the subsurface scatter enough, low shadows, shadow cache enabled for extra performance, bloom, eh, whatever. And we disable the depth of field. I mean, it's a, it's a minimum requirements, a minimum requirements card, so we might as well keep it like this. So we start the recording, let's try low settings, then we're going to try interlace mode, and then we'll see what happens. But yeah, overall, at least in this part, it's not doing that great, it's doing pretty bad, worse than the demo in this section in particular. So yeah, we only enabled the shadow cache. Anyways, let's go back. Yeah, yeah, this seems to be in the bad parts, over 30, let's see if it stays that way. It's probably, yeah, it's still dropping below 30. Pretty disappointing. 900p apparently should be over 30. And for 60s, 720p is probably necessary, but some parts drop below 30 despite being on low settings. Which is kind of a disappointment, if you ask me. But again, good to have the worst part of the game at the beginning. 
seems to be a pretty chunky map. I hope Arc 570 will be better. Yeah, of course, it will be a lot better. This game seems to favor AMD cards, so the 570 will be fine. But at least for 1080p, I'll probably go for interlace mode and low settings, or 720p for 60 frames. So yeah, definitely. Similar to the demo after speaking to the village people. So yeah, pretty interesting. At least we have the wolf's performance from the get-go. I have no guns as of yet. 750 yeah, will be 20 FPS. Yeah, if we are lucky. I'm not expecting playable frame rates on that one. <laughs> Especially with this video memory usage. Kind of crazy. Let me see if I can find a way to continue. Nothing here. And man, the FOB is so tiny. So tiny, so... Yeah, so... So... Uh, I'm, I do not know the word. But it's not great. The FOB is too low. Luckily, there's a mod out there that allows us to increase the FOB. Any guns that I can use, please? Anybody home? So yeah, the requirements were right. The 1050 Ti is for 720p60, definitely. Try interlace, yeah, in a few minutes. Allow me a few seconds to finish recording this part. But so far, at least we are over 30 in this part. It says do not enter, but I, I want to go in. There's probably another way in. Maybe this fence? No? Okay. That's fair enough. Yeah, I think this is the way now. Okay, a different house, finally. I found it, I found it. Try interlace, yeah, we're going there. Okay, no. Okay, somebody's on the roof, I can hear them. So a jump scare is coming, I'm sure. I can, my spider sense is tingling. Anybody in the toilet? Okay. Anyways, let's go for interlace mode now. Interlace mode is basically one of the axes of the resolution goes to half resolution. So we get a massive performance improvement. And let's see where that gets us. Probably like 20 FPS more, I'm thinking. So yeah, plus interlaced. Let's go for that. So one second, guys. Let me start recording once more. 1080p, interlace mode. We all love interlace mode. If you don't notice the difference, well, keep it on. It'll give you like 20 FPS more. I would be aiming for over 60, over 60, 460 if possible. I don't think we get there, but who knows? Maybe we are lucky. All right, okay, over 40. So probably I would just aim for 30 with higher settings on interlace mode. And that's basically it. Que se interlaced. Uno de los ejes de la resolución lo parten a la mitad. Y te dejó se ve peor, pero tenés muchos más FPS, básicamente. Wow. Looking nice. So yeah, we're not getting 60 with, with interlace mode. So what we're doing, I'm just going to crank up those settings. I don't think it's necessary to go for low on this one. We're nowhere close 60 frames. So yeah, why lower the settings? Yeah, I think that would be best in this case. So we crank up everything. It's not a huge difference, unfortunately, lowering the settings. We get very few extra FPS. So we might as well aim for 30 on interlace mode. I know it kind of sucks, but it is what it is. For 60 frames, probably 900p or 720p. So yeah, pretty disappointing, but hey, interlace mode. And we are going to record this and change resolutions. But yeah, similar to the demo, really. So we're going to play like that. Aim for 30 with these settings. Then at 720, we're going to go for medium 60 frames. So yeah, looking good now. 1080p, high, interlace mode. And we should be over 30, like this. And the game looks a little bit better. Yeah, we get lower than 1080p, but at least the game has better shadows. It has ambient occlusion. All that good stuff. Hopefully I can find some guns now. Donde vivís en Uruguay? 
I live in Uruguay, guys, for the people that's wondering. A knife! Okay, that means that there's combat going to happen. Great, absolutely wonderful. Yeah, they did. They did run out of house. Yeah, these are the latest drivers. So guys, don't worry, I'm using the latest drivers. I did a clean install of the drivers before the live stream, as usual. I have everything under control in that regard. So yeah, it's not a driver issue, that's for sure. Okay, a shotgun to the face is probably coming. Let's see. No spoilers, we're skipping that. Ha! Okay, I have a pistol now. Beautiful. And that FOB, man. Please, Capcom, give us FOB slider. Una duda, ¿cómo para que no vaya mal el audio en la cinemática? La verdad que no sabría decirte. No tuve ese problema aún. Okay, combat. Oh, man. That stutter. Yeah, the game still stutters when an enemy is close to your face. As you can see, there, we got those stutters. That is going to be worse once you fight the, the daughters, the daughters of the la lady vampire. So yeah, keep that in mind. Apparently they didn't fix that as of yet, which is kind of a bummer, but hey, good to warn you guys if you wanted to purchase the game. So expect those stutters there. So yeah, apparently the game has those issues still that the demo has. Let's go to the pistol again. They move super quick. Imagine aiming this with a controller. You're not going to hit anything. A lot of bullets for just one enemy, but that's fine. That's fine. I'll take it. Deberías pasar el DDU por las dudas. Ya lo hice. Ya lo hice. Lo hice antes del stream. Guys, I ran DDU before the live stream. So don't worry. I got it under control. <laughs> Let's make a first aid kit. Got a heal. Mmm, water in my hand now. And I, I have a missing finger now. Ethan always has the worst. He gets beaten up super quickly. Poor Ethan. But guys, remember, upgrade your drivers. Keep them up to date. Okay, bolt cutters. Good, I can open the door now. Beautiful. The fence can be opened. I love that how they reuse the animation for open the opening things with bolt cutters from Resident Evil 7 all the way up to Resident Evil 8. They've been using the same animation. <laughs> That's hilarious. Okay, something is expecting me in there. So what we're going to do before going in there, let's just try 900p now. I gotta be quick. So let's lower that resolution. Hopefully the game doesn't crash in the meantime. So 900p now. And we're going to try two things, interlace mode on high settings, and then we're doing, um, what's the name of this? Then we're doing uh, non-interlace mode on low settings, probably, but I'm not expecting a huge, a huge difference, really, which I'm expecting to be disappointed, really, with the numbers, but hey, it's a 1050 Ti. So I shouldn't be expecting a lot from a new game, but hey, a man can dream. So 900p, and this will be interlace mode on high settings, because low settings runs almost the same. That's what disappoints me. <laughs> I was expecting a huge difference from high to low. So yeah, anyways, 900p here, interlace mode, high settings. And then we're doing native resolution. For the people that do not like interlace mode, we're going to give it a shot. So yeah, we get a 30 frames and a 60 frames target. All right, let's get back into the game now. Okay, this is a lot better, <laughs> definitely. Hopefully we can keep over 50 frames, but the game looks gorgeous still, so. I'm still, you're still going to get stutters no matter what when an enemy is super close to the camera attacking you. Bullets? Yes, thank you. I wanted more bullets. You can barricade doorways with shelves. Okay. Beautiful. Let's go upstairs. Okay, let's not go upstairs then. 
Do you always use DDU? Yeah, I always use DDU before the live stream, so I can have a whoa, Jesus, <laughs> so I can have a a very consistent experience with the games, so I don't have any issues. Okay, thanks for the opening. Can I go out now? No, I don't think so. Oh man, not looking good. Maybe I can go out from here. Okay, no. Maybe some other time. Oh, hello there. And this is what I was talking about. When an enemy attacks you very close range, you get some stutters. Seems to be unavoidable as of right now. I just need to go outside, but I cannot find the door. So let's just attack. 30 FPS, 720p. Well, if you use high settings on 720, I'm expecting 60s, really. In the demo, it was that way, at least. And hang on, I want to turn off the aim assist. It's super annoying. <laughs> Where's the aim assist? Aim assist. Don't tell me that there is mandatory aim assist from this. Oh, aim assist off. Do not put aim assist by default. Jesus. <laughs> Ok, que es DDU, es un programa para borrar los drivers Muy útil For the people that do not know, DDU is a program that helps you delete the drivers before you install new ones Super important To get the best performance out of your system In case you have a lot of drivers From different GPUs installed That's an issue I have personally because I have a lot of GPUs over. Ok, is it over? I think so I just needed to kill one enemy I wish I had a a set of stairs to get up, but I cannot, apparently. Maybe I can just go outside this way. No? Okay. But guys, if you haven't in used DDU before and you had your PC for a while, I recommend you try it anyways. It's free, you don't lose anything. I think it's worth giving a shot to that program. You lose nothing, really. Anyways. Okay, more. More. More herbs, thank you. And as you can see, 900p interlace mode, high settings, appears to be over 45, 45 to 70 frames. It depends on what's going on, really. But 720p seems to be the best bet for this. So, yeah. Anyways. Okay, more monsters, let's run. I don't have- oh yeah, shotgun, yes please. Thank you. Best gun. Let's barricade ourselves. <laughs> 517x, yeah, and that one is going to be a lot better, that's for sure. Okay, gunpowder, good. Anything else? Yeah, more pistol ammo. Gimme that, gimme, gimme, gimme. Beautiful. But I'm going to use the shotgun right away. I love that the game tells me how to run. That means that something is going to happen. Oh, I can attack these bags to have some cover. Okay, good. I I just waited a shotgun, wasted a shotgun round, shooting at nothing. Okay, more scrap. Hello, sir. Boom, headshot. And as you can see, when you headshot someone, you also get a performance hit. I can craft ammo, hang on. Going to craft some ammunition. Wonderful. Let's go pistol. Let's run. There's no end to them. Yeah, there's no end to them. Yeah, too many of them. Let's run. <laughs> Let's just flee. Is this a bonfire? Oh no. Run, get away. <laughs> okay, this is a good stress test. As you can see now, we're dropping frames. There's a red barrel. That's a great test as well. Come on, get closer. Get closer, guys. Boom. Die. A crystal skull. Yeah, I love those trophies. Yeah, they're just bullet sponges. I'm not going to shoot them anymore. Let's get out of here. Oh no, that's not the way. <laughs> More gunpowder. How do I open this door? It's locked. Great. I'm going to die here, I think. <laughs> Run. 
Yeah, I should get out of here. Oh man, so many of them. <laughs> I should have paid attention. Let's go back into the house. I think this is the house I have to go in. <laughs> if I turn hard left, okay. I think this is the way. Shotgun rounds, wonderful. Hang on. Yeah, this is the house. Before before they go in, I'm going to disable the interlace mode, but I don't think it's it's a great idea. I mean, 900p is going to be not great without interlace mode. But I mean, some people do not like it. So this is now 900p high with native resolution. Again, guys, remember with the lowest settings, you get a very tiny performance boost. So yeah, we're kind of screwed in that regard. So lowering the resolution is our best bet for better performance. 60 frames, 720p right away for the 1050 Ti. I confirmed that in the demo and I confirm it here. <laughs> Especially when there's a lot going on on screen. 720 people will be necessary. Bloodborne 2. Yeah, but in first person. <laughs> Anyways. So as you can see now, 900p like this. It's over 30. So if you don't like interlace mode for some reason. Just use uh, 900p high. You get 30 frames. Very distant visuals. Still looks good on low settings though. But I mean, not really worth using low settings. The performance improvement is so tiny that yeah, I'm pretty disappointed in that regard. Does interlace mode greatly reduce quality? Yes, it does. I will do a side by side, whoa, a side by side comparison by the end. But yeah, it does greatly reduce the quality, that's for sure. I mean, you have half the resolution in one of the axes, so. Oh man, what the heck is that? <laughs> run, run Ethan. You have no chance against all these enemies. Yeah, no, let's run away. Screw me, I screw my daughter, let's run. Let me see if I can craft anything. Yeah, give me one. I need to heal myself. I'm so terrible at this game already. Yeah, the big guy. I hope he likes me. Okay, this is open. I'm super lost. Okay, I love that the game now tells me which areas I ex explored and which I didn't. So, I probably have to go to this one. Let's go that way. There has to be a door I haven't checked out. But I love that I'm being attacked from everywhere and I'm just running away. Let's get away. Are you waiting for the Battlefield 6? Yeah, I mean, any military shooter, I play it. But yeah, I'm getting just kicked from everywhere. <laughs> Maybe if I go this way, this is the way to go? Maybe? No, definitely not this way. I'm getting lost. Yeah, this is like a big maze and there's a huge dude. Big Chungus is chasing me. Oh, hello there. This was meant to happen. Okay, hang on. We got 15 FPS. I love when this happens. So out of the ordinary. I think you should run until cutscene happens. Well, I didn't have any cutscenes as until now. Apparently that was supposed to happen. I was supposed to be shot from everywhere, but now I'm locked to 15 FPS. Pretty odd. <laughs> but I guess this should be fixed in a few seconds. But the VRAM is fine. I'm, I'm kind of lost. This was the very beginning. Oh, it's the the old lady. Once she despawns, I'm going to be fine. I'm pretty sure. Let's see. Once I talk to her and she despawns, it's going to be fixed. So let me skip this. Let's see. If the old lady disappears, give it, give it five seconds. Four, three, two. There we go. The old lady despawned and we got back into the 50s. So guys, make sure to lower the textures further. That's how it happens. Once the old lady spawns again, which will happen in a few minutes, you're going to lose a lot of performance. This is how we... This is when the 2GB GPUs get screwed. So make sure when you play the game, lower those textures to something lower. Capcom changed the VRAM gauge from the, um, from the demo to here. So now one gigabyte high is 4.8 gigabytes. So now if you want to be below four gigs, you probably have to go for low textures. Look at that. Or medium textures. 
So that's kind of disappointing. But hey, it is what it is, I guess. They changed it because people were complaining, I guess. So yeah, 4 gigabytes is the absolute minimum. Let's go for 0 0.25 gigs. And let's keep it like that. So we have some VRAM to, VRAM to, to spare for the old lady's model. And that's basically it. So let's now do 720. 720 should be good for 60 frames without interlace mode. And that's about it. But yeah, 4 gigabytes, I would say the absolute minimum. If you want to play this game hitch free, should be enough. So yeah, now this is 720p. We're going to keep it on normal rendering mode. And we're doing um, high settings. It's not going to change a lot if you go to low. So 720p high now, we're aiming for 60 frames. Hopefully we can get there well enough, but hey. Yeah, thank God you have 8 gigabytes. Yeah, I mean, it's a great way. I mean, on AMD cards, it should be better in general. But uh, I mean, yeah, this game uses a lot of video memory, just like Resident Evil 7. Although Resident Evil 7 on Ultra used like 10 gigabytes, I think. It was kind of crazy. Anyways. Let's get back into the game now. Okay, now 720p high. We're still dropping frames here and there, so definitely not 60. So I think we need interlace mode <laughs> even at 720p. Oh my god. Why? Hang on. Before, before continuing, let's restart the game. I want to make sure that I'm getting the best numbers. Sometimes when you change the resolution a lot in a game, it kind of bugs out. So there's no no problem in just restarting. Yeah, exactly. Resident Evil 7 is equivalent to have it, to having like 10 tabs in Chrome. Yeah. <laughs> definitely. Definitely, definitely. Yeah, more RE engine shenanigans, yeah. Definitely. But hey, it is what it is. What can you do? It's not that we can fix it ourselves. Capcom has to put some work in to make it better. So yeah, 4 gigabytes is the absolute minimum, guys. I wouldn't try anything else as of right now. Yo juego en lo más alto y en 1080p Ryzen 3, sí. Pero tira can los FPS como loco. Okay, guys, we're back here. Okay, this is the part where we flee the old lady with the old lady, where the old lady spawns. And as you can see now, it's a lot better because we have enough VRAM to do so. And it's a lower resolution. Let's see if it goes up. Yeah, the frame rate improves there when the old lady despawns. And now we got a few extra frames, so good. Instead of the 50s, we got, okay, mid 60s. So definitely an improvement, restarting the game. So yeah, good thing I restarted the game for 720p. So yeah, good stuff. I would just lower those textures. If you guys want the best performance, I'll probably go for that. To be sure. So yeah, a lot better after I restarted because I didn't run out of VRAM. So good, good, good. Just put it on medium textures, 0 0.25 megab megabytes. Okay, have some, okay, good. Landmines, wonderful. Give me those rounds. I'll need them. This game to, seems to be more heavily focused on combat over Resident Evil 7. So good th good stuff. So yeah, it runs almost the same as the demo so far, but they changed the VRAM gauge to something more demanding. So it's more realistic, I guess. Hopefully the enemies do not want to attack me from the back. Let's go directly into the <laughs> into the cutscene but yeah so far i recommend 720p for this card since you can do 60 frames and again lowering the settings below high doesn't seem to change the performance that much so in that regard we can't uh, we're kind of screwed not much that we can do about it so yeah anyways hopefully the lady opens the door quickly Open the door, I have a gun. Without ammo. Oh, never mind. I had some shells. 
Beautiful. Oh, there's... I can save anywhere now. Yeah, this is Resident Evil 4 vibes here. Look at that typewriter. Beautiful. I missed it. I'm going. Yeah, the 570 comes after this one. Don't worry. But I'm going to do a lot of explanation once I do the full video. Just give me a few minutes to get back into the village and we swap to the 570. But yeah, I'm not going to shoot him. Just grab me and I skip the cutscene. <laughs> we gotta get out of here. Okay, I'm going to get some ammunition. Let's get some supplies so we can continue with the journey. Okay, more money, good. The truck key. Let's analyze it. Oh man, those sections are rough. <laughs> yeah, more rounds. Hell yeah. Love me some shotgun rounds. And let's get back into the truck. Anything else I can grab? Okay. Maybe something back here. Some secrets. Anything? I love that the building is is burning down and I'm looking for supplies. Like nothing is going on. Anyways. Hola, Siowa, todo bien? A few weeks. Uh, if you reduce shadows, does that reduce considerably the VRAM usage? So far, it doesn't seem to be the case. Taxius seems to be the only way, and the resolution. But the shadows don't seem to make a huge difference, unless you go from max to high, just like Resident Evil 2 Remake. So guys, don't, don't use max Taxius, just go for high or something lower. But the VRAM usage doesn't significantly change, but I have to... At least, what I like about this over the demo version is that Capcom increased the VRAM gauge in the options menu. So now the VRAM usage is more realistic in the options menu. Before it was kinda wrong, let's leave it at that. So now at least it tells you the real VRAM usage. I'm going to show you that in a second, guys. But yeah, this gun on PC will be amazing. I mean, it's Unreal Engine 4. I have high hopes for that one. And I know how to configure it. So it's going to be interesting. And how are you doing, Venchart? Long time no see, man. I saw that you got a 1650 Super. So guys, if you want to see more benchmarks on the 1650 Super, Benchart, follow him. He's in the chat there. He does a lot of tests. So yeah, it's going to be interesting. But as you can see here, when looking into the distance, I get mid-50s. So this should be how it, how it goes on 720p. So yeah, let me show you the options menu super quickly. So as I was saying, here it says graphics memory 4 gigabytes, and I'm using the high 0 0.25 gigs option. But if I go to 1 gigabyte, it says 4.8. In the demo, it said like 3.5 when I had uh, this option. So definitely lower those textures. Yeah. And then let me see the shadows super quickly. So the shadows from high to medium, you yeah, you you get like 300 megabytes less. And on low, you get like, yeah, it's a noticeable difference, but still the VRAM usage seems to be fine on high. At 720p probably doesn't make a huge difference. Then max settings, yeah, you get a huge performance hit with shadows on max. And as you can see there, when I increased the shadows, it broke the FPS. As you can see now, I just went over the VRAM limit, it broke the FPS, now went back by lowering the shadows to high, and we got back into the mid 50s. So, definitely, it's an issue with the VRAM, the performance drops. So, at 720p, I'll use high settings with the, sh the textures on the 1 gigabyte. But as long as the old lady disappears, you should be okay. Anyways, so that's how it goes for the. Um, 1050 Ti, do 1080p high with interlace mode and those textures on medium 0 0.25 or low then on 900p again interlace mode high settings and at 720p interlace mode high settings and textures at 0 0.25 and that should be good to go your main limitation here is definitely those textures those textures are insane i mean look at that vram usage <laughs> Yeah, on 1080p I'll use low or medium 0 0.25, something like that, just to be safe. The game is just super VRAM hungry, at least on the NVIDIA cards. So yeah, let's swap to the 570. So let's get out of the game, and we're going to swap GPUs. I have the latest drivers, so that's going to be interesting. 
Yeah, guys, I tried all the resolutions already. 1080p wasn't great. It was good for 30 frames per second, but you needed to do basically interlace mode to not drop below 30. So yeah, time to do the 570, guys. One second. Going to swap GPUs. So, uh, but yeah, considering how the demo ran, this is super similar, but we got more instances of high VRAM usage. So this is more realistic over the demo. Here's the 570, because the game is loading more assets. Apparently the map is, it's loading more stuff now in the final game. So it kind of makes sense that it uses more video memory. So at least I'm happy that the game from the get-go drops you in a place with a lot of enemies and a lot of things to load. Oh, I screwed up. Hang on, guys. <laughs> okay, hopefully now it runs. People say it has gotten better over time. Uh, well, the Horizon Zero Dawn, yeah, Horizon Zero Dawn got a lot better over time, especially on NVIDIA GPUs. AMD cards run it fine, but then after a few updates, the NVIDIA cards got better numbers. So yeah, definitely Horizon Zero Dawn was a game that improved a lot. But I mean, remember that that's a first party game that used an engine that wasn't common on the PC. At least the Capcom engine, the RE engine is more like recognizable in the PC space. They had a few games to test it out. But again, this is a super VRAM hungry game and it needs a card that is DX12 friendly. And the 10 series card from Nvidia is super, um, it's not great on the X12, the, 10, the GTX 10 series. So keep that in mind. That's something super important. So yeah, hang on guys. I think my capture card is doing funny business. Okay, I got an image. Woo, I thought I broke something. So, okay, we're back now. Let's see. Let's see the radio settings. Let's see if we have the latest drivers. Just to double check. I always like to check that out. So in system, Let's check for updates. Oh, update fail. Let me see if I have an internet connection. Sometimes my ethernet cable gets disconnected. Okay, up to date. Wonderful, latest drivers, guys. 21.5.1. Game ready drivers, as usual. Let's launch MSI Afterburner. And we're going for it. So, one second. But we're going to go for high on this one, should be fine on the 570. The demo ran amazingly well. It didn't matter that we, if we got over the VRAM limit on the AMD cards for some reason. So yeah. Okay. Good streaming. Well, thanks, Augmented Realism. I appreciate that. <laughs> I hope you guys are enjoying my tests. I know I'm a little slow with this, but I am trying my best. We're getting there eventually. For some reason, Steam isn't launching. Oh, come on, Steam. We got this. GPU temp vary from location to location. Yeah, I mean, doesn't really, it's not really a good idea to show your GPU temps. I have an open test bench. It's very cold right now. That's super important. The ambient temps, the amount of fans that we're using. So it wouldn't be realistic to show your temps because in your case, it will be completely different. Nobody has the exact same temperatures. And if the temperature is too high, you'll see, oh, your card runs super hot, mine doesn't. And if it's super low, you guys will say, oh no, but your card runs super cold, how do you do that? So it doesn't make sense to show your temperatures. It will be just confusing for people that do not know what the temperatures, what the temperatures should be. So I don't want to confuse anyone. I'd rather not show those numbers. So we're going to do 1080p high. We're going to try taxes on... Yeah, I'm going to keep them on 0 0.5. Now let's put on one gig. If something goes wrong, I'm restarting the game. Don't worry. <laughs> but let me double check. We're going to go for high on this one. Not going to pull any punches. This card handled the demo much better. So I have high hopes for this one. So anyways. Let's start recording. So we're doing 1080p, normal mode. This should be 50 to 60 frames. Fidelity FX, let's disable it for now. And let's use FXAA plus TAA. 
no ray tracing because of course ray tracing is not supported on the cards I test in the channel. Uh, let's see how the 4 gigs of VRAM do on this graphics card. Hopefully it is better, but who knows. So we go to the... let's go to the manual save. So at least we get something to start. 90 degrees is a lot for a GPU, in my opinion. I usually try to stay at 75 or lower. Okay, we're back here. Someone should open the door now. As you, as you can see here, we get 100 FPS. We'll see once we get out into the village again. Come on, open the door, lady. I'm waiting for you. I have a shotgun and I'm not afraid to use it. Come on. Thank you. You're such a nice lady. Uh, my 570 temp is 90 degrees. What? It's too much. <laughs> Try an underbolt. But the card is probably dropping the core clock. Okay, yeah, attack me. I'm not wasting bullets on you, sir. We gotta get out of here. Okay, so as you can see here, it runs amazing on the 570. We'll see once we get outside. But the demo ran amazing as well, so kind of makes sense. What is this? Oh, money. Nice. And the textures, as you can see, on high 1 gig look a lot better. Much better textures. So yeah, as you can see, the DX12 friendly cards, such as the 570, run the game significantly better and manage the video memory a lot better as well. Again, the 1050Ti, the 10 series card from the 10 series cards from Nvidia, usually on DX12 games, are not fantastic. But this seems to be a game that really needs a DX12 friendly card. DX12 friendly doesn't mean compatible. DX12 friendly means that the hardware is optimized for DX12. Usually those cards that I'm talking about are the NVIDIA cards after the 16 series. The 1650 Super, the 2060, uh, the 1650 Non Super, the, um, the 30 series or the AMD cards from RX 470 and higher. Those are DX12 friendly cards, and in general those manage DX12 games better, and this is one of them, as you can see. I mean, <laughs> it runs completely fine. We'll see once I open up to the village, but uh, so far so good. 1070Ti is pretty okay with DX12. Well, yeah, that's a super powerful GPU, you have a lot of video memory, so I kind of understand. And I think it's newer than most of the 10 series cards, but in general Nvidia improved things after those cards were released with the DX12 compatibility. Let's see, we look into the distance. As you can see when looking into the distance, 57 FPS, and this was the numbers I got on the 1050Ti at 720p, so I mean imagine the difference, it's an insane difference. I mean, this was my numbers on high settings at 720p on the 1050Ti, so you can clearly see the improvement. I, re I remember when the 570 was being compared to the 1050Ti, and people didn't know which one to get. Well, as you can see, if you got the 570 for DX12 games, this is one of those games, but it came many years later, so you couldn't really um, note that in advance. So that's pretty interesting. So if you have a 570, it should be okay. Uh, the 10th series are still decent performance. Yeah, but I mean, they're not highly DX12 friendly like the 16 series and the 20 series. They're still pretty okay. Yeah, I agree. But uh, they're not perfect. That's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> Nothing is perfect, but I was just using it as an example to get the best numbers on this game. Oh, a map. Wonderful. I'm not, I have nothing against those cards. I'm just saying that, yeah, they're not the best for the X12. Tiene soporte para 144 Hz? Sí, sí, tiene. Some people are asking me if it supports 144 Hz. Yeah, you can even do 240. Let's use a family photo to open this door. <laughs> I love that that's an option. Es posible ultra, y no creo que sea necesario, honestamente. Ultra te comería toda la memoria de video. No creo que sea... O sea, es casi ultra esto. Estás a un paso de ultra. Some people are asking about the... Um, 
ultra settings. Ultra settings is almost the same settings as this. This is one notch before ultra. And it uses so much video memory that I wouldn't really risk it. Doesn't make a lot of sense to me. Is that how it is? Yep, there we go. Perfect, now we put the Maiden Crest here. Let's do it. Alright, usually the 570 try to have it below 75C. Para la gente preguntando sobre temperatura, trato de mantenerla debajo de 75 grados, más o menos. Hell yeah, let's go to the castle. Let's meet the vampire lady. A qué velocidad de ventilador lo tenés y como viene por defecto. As you can see here, it runs better than the village by a lot. So yeah. Maybe this way. It's locked from the other side. Okay, fair enough. Let's open this yellow thing. We skip. Again, no spoilers for you guys. MD fine wine. Yeah, definitely. Okay, I think I found the vampire lady. But we're going to skip it. Oh, that's creepy as hell. That isn't creepy at all. Let's flee. Yeah, let's run. Run, run, run. Yeah, get away, Ethan. You got this, you got this, Ethan. Run, get away. A mí no me engañas, tú eres de Chile. Bueno, te engañé entonces porque soy de Uruguay. Así que sí, te engaño. Um, all right. We're just going to run away before changing resolutions. Okay. That's a big dude. Let's keep that, no spoilers for you guys. I try to spoil as little as possible, but sometimes it's difficult. Where to? What the hell? This way? Do I have to open the door? What do I have to do here? I cannot see a thing. Oh, okay, I'm going to get crushed. Maybe if I, if I crouch? Oh, this is probably a passage there that I didn't see. <laughs> uh, I'm stupid. <laughs> the 1660, yeah, should be maximum settings without a doubt. Yeah. Yeah, it was to the left. Sorry, guys. It's so dark. I have a light in my face, so I cannot see anything. It's so dark in this game. No aprendes a hablar inglés así. En mi casa practiqué mucho. Me gusta el inglés. Le metí muchas horas. Uh, no 750 Di at the moment, no, but we'll see later. Yeah, this is the way. I'm blind. But as you can see, if you have a 570, 580, should be okay on 1080p. If you have the 8GB 580, just max it out. Do not even worry, you'll be okay. Let's see if I can find some items here. Let me break this. Come on! Oh man. I'm so screwed. I almost died here. Oh, okay, that's convenient. <laughs> Excellent. I was thinking about this. It was planned. Creep into the void, into the void or into the wood. Después pasa el método para hablar así de fluido y es leer y releer. Hace cuatro años que hablo inglés todos los días. Hagan videos en YouTube. Ese es mi consejo. For the people that ask me how did I learn to speak English this way, well, I learned it by speaking English on YouTube for like four years, almost every day. It's no magic, it's practice. And I still have a lot to improve. So yeah, it requires time and perseverance. Okay, step one, panic. Step two, panic. Step three, panic. <laughs> okay, so here, here's where it was before. So let's pull this again. Hopefully we'll get to a more demanding place now. Step three, profit. Step one, practice. Step two, step three, profit. Okay, we're outside again. Wonderful. Hopefully there is a typewriter close by. Okay, yeah, this feels like there's going to be more enemies. I should have shot those crows. Is there, is there any treasure, like in Resident Evil 4, if I shoot something? I'm not going to waste ammo on this, but... Let me double check. Maybe there's something hidden. Herbs. Good. Makes sense. 
I, I need to get my items. Step three, profit. Yeah, that's always the last step, profit. But yeah, as you can see, guys, the 570. Oh, the merchant, the duke. What are you buying? I've been waiting for you, Mr. Welcome. Okay, before opening the shop, though, let me see if there's any save points. No typewriter. Okay, fair enough. You wish to make a purchase? I've yep. Prepared a special present for Oh, there's a present. I love presents. Hang on. Let's sell to him this treasure. And what else? No, I'm not selling you any guns. Yeah, let's sell that treasure that I picked up. So... Neat. What else? Save Samo for hitting her on fire. Shoot Scarecrow for his red. <laughs> That's hilarious, man. Okay, zero dollars for this. Mr. Raccoon Weapon Charm. Is this Resident Evil 2? Yeah, let's get it. I, this one makes it I don't know for what do I need that charm, but that's fine. Okay, there's some ammo that I can that I can get for free. Probably because I pre-ordered the game. Well, a friend actually pre-ordered the game. And he borrowed the game to me. Thank you, friend. Diego, thank you. <laughs> so I get free ammunition and free supplies for my first run. A lockpick. It's kind of weird that they sell you consumable items for free as a pre-order. Kind of odd. <laughs> That's a reference to the to the Resident Evil 4 merchant. That's great. I love that. So let me increase the... Whoa, it's so expensive. I have so little money in this game. Only 1800 Okay. Anyways. Thank you for your patronage. You're welcome. Okay, where's where's my save point? I need to save so I can swap resolutions. No, do not restart. I just want to skip. Okay, finally inside the castle. Mmm, delicious. See, one beneficio. Okay, the castle Dimitrescu. And I cannot go back. Okay, fair enough. Oh yeah, I'm going to get that. Let's just break stuff. No wonder the <laughs> the told vampire lady is pissed. I'm just destroying stuff in the castle. Okay, where's my typewriter? Okay, it's locked. More money. More monies! I want to save so I can go back to the village. Okay, that doesn't sound great. Okay, we're back in the castle, like in the demo. This is closed. Let's go upstairs. We're probably going to get kicked back to the village. It's locked. Oh, man. Come on. Mask the angels. No, I'm not masking anyone. Okay, yeah. We're skipping this. Probably going to get caught by the lady. Lady Dimitrescu. Okay, I'm stuck here. What the hell? Okay, we'll wait for the lady to step on us in the meantime. Where are you, vampire lady? Okay, I cannot get down. Let me check. Is there any way to get down? Or I have to wait? Yeah, I'm stuck to the wall. Oh, never mind. <laughs> I'm stuck to the roof. I'm blind. Sorry, I forgot I was getting stabbed in the hand. Ow! That that must hurt. I thought it was a bug, but no, I had to look up. <laughs> don't worry, don't worry. F. Oh my. Ethan just gets destroyed in all this game. How, how the hell does he survive? I do not know. He's probably the strongest protagonist in Resident Evil like ever. Okay, yeah, let's put some some water in my hand. That's going to fix it, definitely. Holy hell. Okay. All right. Yeah, let's get that glass. What I'm going to do now is trying to find a typewriter. Hopefully it's super close to us. And then we're going to try higher settings and all that. In the meantime, though, let's do 1440p. 
So 1080p, as you can see, almost the highest settings, you get 60, 60, over 50. So yeah, this should be okay on high settings. Now we're doing 1440. Love this resolution, looks super sharp. So we're going for high, then we're going to lower those settings, but I'm pretty certain that it's not going to be 60s, even on 1440p low. But hey, who knows, maybe we are surprised. You never know. So 1440p now, let's start recording. The VRAM usage gets sky high, but hey, maybe we are lucky, who knows. And once I find a save point, we're going back to the village to give it a second shot. And we'll see how it goes, because the village so far ran worse for me than the castle. But one of the but fighting one of the daughters kills the performance. Okay, so as of right now, 1440p is okay. 60 frames, but remember this is the castle. <laughs> no less than a castle. No safe stuff, no. Okay, let's go down. No! Jesus, I always try to skip stuff. Anyway, let's go. Go, go, go. Just like the demo, we're going back here. Yeah, it's going to explode eventually, yeah. <laughs> it's going to explode. I'm sure of it. Okay, we're going to get the key item from here. Thank you very much. We got this. Will you test 4K? Yeah, of course. I mean, if I do 1440p, 4K is a given. Although I'm not expecting 60s at 4K, but it's a 570. I mean, what do you want? Okay, nothing here. Yeah, some treasure, thank you. Where have they taken Rose? Okay, this is just like the demo. Let me see if there is any safe spot. Apparently not. Let's go to the Duke. Hey Duke! Let's sell him some stuff. Okay, there's a save point. There's stuff all over the place, so let's shop. Let's do the shopping. So we sell him the fragment, we send him the crimson glass. Okay. Nothing more to sell. As always, a trustworthy and I'm probably going to save some stuff for a bigger inventory. I'm skilled at all sorts of weapons modifications. I don't do so we save. Now we got one in the castle and one outside. So let's load the, the save file from the castle. From the castle from the village let's super quickly double check 1440p so we're loading the the church part oh hey i just noticed you accepted my friend request on steam yeah guys if you want to add me on steam check the about section of my channel and you'll find it i don't usually play online but hey okay as you can See guys, outside we're getting 30 frames at 1440p. Although the old lady is close by, so probably it has to do with it. But 1440p high, 30 frames per second. So yeah. Make sure to double check that. But yeah, 30 frames, 1440p high, kind of makes sense. I mean, it's a... A higher resolution than 1080p. On 1080p we were getting 50 frames here, 55. So it's a, an interesting boost, an interesting boost, an interesting performance hit here. Although probably try a part before this one. But as you can probably notice, yeah, 1440p on the village at least. Let me see if I can backtrack and find some monsters. But as you can see here, that's how it goes at 1440p high, although it's a 570, I mean, that is doing over 30 at 1440p, super interesting. So yeah, let's see if we can get into a fight. We probably can. Let's go all the way back. Okay, I cannot open that door. Don't open that door! Maybe this way? Okay, I found some items. Well, better than nothing. In case I need to 
I need to pick luck. Well, we are going to pick it. Oh, I don't have those. Okay, never mind. Never mind. But if, if I need to go back to get some combat, I'm probably going to restart the my progress. Yeah, I cannot go this way. But yeah, if you wanted to do this part of the game, should be okay. Yeah, it's locked. So let's try interlace mode. Maybe interlace mode gives us 60 frames, who knows. So interlace mode. This is usually a huge performance improvement. And as you can see, it is. So hang on, this is interlace mode now. Uh, para los 40 FPS es jugable, sí, depende del juego, pero en general sí. Some people are asking me if 40 frames per second is playable. In my humble opinion, it is. It's fine. It's not perfect. In a first person game, I usually try to get 60s, but I mean, 40 frames is fine. <laughs> okay, the old lady disappeared. That's fine. We hated her, anyways. The old lady kind of sucks. It kills the Vera usage. So yeah, anyhow, so look into the distance, we're getting, okay, mid 50s, so definitely if you want to play at 1440p, use interlace mode on this card for 60 frames. If you don't like interlace mode, well, play at 35 in the worst parts. <laughs> so yeah, anyways, just to show you super quickly, look at the FPS, 65 with interlace mode and normal mode, we go all the way down to 42. So we jump from 42 to 55 just by using neutralized mode. It does look worse, but it's a good trade-off, I think. Considering this is a budget GPU from 2016, it's kind of to be expected. And lowering the settings to low doesn't change the performance that much. You get like a 10 extra FPS, so we, it will be the 40s. So yeah. Anyways, we start recording this. And let's do a super quick run. Okay, we drop some frames now. Okay, it's back up. I think the old lady spawned again. But yeah, over 45. Should be fine. Not, not sure why it's dropping though. Let me reload the, the checkpoint. Yeah, pretty odd. Pretty odd behavior. Maybe it's the VRAM. Who knows? I've been changing settings over and over. Okay, yeah, that's better. Yeah, it's the old lady again. I think she's dropping our frames. Freaking old lady. Is this interlace mode, like, at all? Maybe I have to do, like, on the Nvidia card that I have to restart the game. Okay, let's do that then. We're going to restart, just to be sure. And we're going to start the game from the beginning, super quickly. So, sorry guys, but I have to sometimes redo stuff. Because changing resolution multiple times usually breaks games. It happened to me yesterday. So super quickly, we're going to try it out. Hey, can you go back into the settings? There's an option that improves it a lot. What do you mean? Texture quality? Yeah, we're going to go lower. At 1440p, it seems to be super, super taxing. But we'll see, we'll see. I forgot about the texture option. But we're going to change it, don't worry. Not sure why the game always starts with the wrong resolution. That's kind of odd. So yeah, let's lower those textures to 0.25. That should improve things. But yeah, the old lady kills the performance for some reason. Pretty odd, but hey, it is what it is. So 1440p now, interlace mode, we're aiming for 60. I lowered those textures. We're super quickly loading the village level and then we're restarting the game to have more action on screen. Because in the castle it doesn't seem to be super taxing. Unless you're fighting one of the daughters of the vampire lady. So yeah, we are... Where to? Uh, the church. Let's go that way. So yeah, here we go. We're turning down those textures. Okay. Yeah, definitely an improvement. We were in the low 50s before, so thanks guys for telling me to lower those textures. As you can see now, it's a lot better. After this, we're doing 4K, so don't worry guys. Got you covered. It's going to be fun. 
what I'm disappointed about is the um, the very little difference we have if we turn up those if we turn down the settings. There's like a 10 FPS difference between the highest and the lowest. Oh, nice, some chem fluid and some people's uh, poo poos. No problem. Thank you, sir. I appreciate that. LMAO. <laughs> Same. Those are my vibes at the moment. LMAO. Why there are stairs going to a wall? I do not know. But that's fine. I'm not complaining. You can also put zero gigabytes. Yeah, that's hilarious that there's an option called zero gigabytes. <laughs> that's probably for the two gigabyte GPUs. All right. Let me see if I can find some extra supplies. Yeah, I think I already looted this place. So let's go all the way back. Freaking old lady, stop lowering my VRAM usage. Anyways, I'm going to go back to the main menu. Let's restart the game. Restart the game, I mean the progress. Let's go standard. And since I know where to go, we're going to have enemies on screen. So something will happen. Instead of going to the castle doing puzzles, we're doing... We're doing more action scenes. At the beginning, it's more action than I expected. I'll put her down. I put her down. No, don't kill her, Ethan. Don't kill your... Don't kill your daughter, Ethan. She didn't do anything wrong. Hola, Osfit. Todo bien? So guys, we're going to put our our daughter to sleep. And then we're going to fight some monsters. Like I said to your mom. I only got 8 GB of RAM with a 4 GB 570. Medium settings will be fine. Yeah, it should be okay. Just make sure to put those textures on either 1 GB or 0 0.5. And that should be good to go. But as you can see, this section, not much is going on. I'm just going to this part so I can fight some monsters for you guys. So you have something good to see at least. <laughs> oh, not this way. I hate that I do not know where to go and he runs so slowly in this part. Run, Ethan. You only have one daughter. Hello, I have a 2060. Was demo optimized than the real game? Yeah, the demo usually runs the same as the final game in some of the last parts of the village section. So yeah, that should be a good reference. Just make sure that you get to the um, the part after you crash the the truck in the demo, and that should be basically the worst parts. That's a huge laptop. Yeah, let's go back to Mia. At least I can move fast now. Are you going to put zero gigabytes when you put it to 4K? I don't know. Probably not. We'll see how the VRAM gauge is going on there, and then we'll see. High medium mix when? Uh, yeah, maybe on on uh, on eight gigabytes of RAM on 1080p should be fine on high. You don't need to do medium. It's not a huge performance difference really. Okay, skipping, skipping it, skip. Abrazo, Lenny. Error. También para vos. Te agradece. Ryzen 3 3100 Sen 2 i3 10th gen. Well, I mean the i3 should be faster, yeah, and should be cheaper nowadays, which is kind of interesting. Okay, we crashed. Wonderful. I mean the car, not the game. At least not yet. Okay, so in this part we're going to move very slowly, but it's going to be quick. So let's just move in a straight line. And as you can see here in this particular part, we drop some frames, probably due to the amount of effects. And by effects I mean... I that was the wrong word, but the amount of foliage, this was the part that ran the worst for me, when you see the village from a distance. Unfortunately, there doesn't seem to be any typewriters in that part, so we're kind of screwed. Also, the, the flashlight is probably the reason why we're also dropping frames. Oh, well, that's alright. First mission is the first mission. ¿Qué opinas del i5-10400F? Que para el precio está muy bien. Es una buen CPU. Okay, we crouch here. Good thing I went back to this part. It runs pretty bad. <laughs> So yeah, but as you can see, the VRAM usage in this section is okay. So you got different ways to stress test the game. When you first get to the village, uh, VRAM usage skyrockets. And in this part, just a lot of transparencies, a lot of dead crows. 
Me, has, me da ansiedad que Ethan se lastime todo el tiempo. Sí, literal. Creo que es la idea. Yeah, some people are, say, are saying that they are getting anxiety, saying Ethan getting hurt every five seconds. I understand that vibe. I've been there. I'm kind of lost now. But I think that's the point of Ethan getting hurt. ¿Qué gráfica crees que es lo máximo que soportaría un Ryzen 5 3600? Sí, una 2080 super, capaz. Esa es mi expectativa. Um, I don't understand Russian, so sorry, I cannot read that. But I'll put it there anyways. Okay, let's get inside. So yeah, this part, yeah, it's super slow. But we're going to get into combat in a few seconds. Okay, nothing here. I, I just gotta go downstairs. The enemy will spawn a little bit higher up. So I follow the blood trail. Like nothing is going on. I mean, I would follow the blood trail in real life as well. That's usually where they keep the babies. And he's doing, looking for her daughter. For his daughter, sorry. Oh, what's this? Oh, Jesus Christ. Literally. <laughs> Anyways, so we open this, and now somebody will spawn upstairs. Oh, a rat! Jesus. I love that Ethan gets startled by a rat, but he literally fought the <laughs> a lot of monsters in Resident Evil 7. So yeah, let's go upstairs again. Okay. We go that way. No, don't restart. Jesus Christ. I tried to skip every movement that Ethan is doing and I will end up resetting my save. Respect from Russia? Well, thank you, sir. I appreciate that. Respect from Uruguay, mister. We love you. Yeah, Ethan is a true Resident Evil protagonist, yeah, that's for sure. I mean, when I'm playing as Leon or Chris, I do not care. I mean, I know they are action heroes. They are not real people. Ethan is like a real person, but doesn't care about his own health. And he doesn't care about getting amputated <laughs> for some reason, yeah. It's like a maniac. Okay, so this is one of the worst parts after the very start of the game. So if, it, if the game runs fine here, should be fine the rest of the way so let's stop the recording let's go directly to 4k now at 1440p i will use the interlace mode on high settings for 50 to 60. so we're going to do 4k now as, and as you can see if you disable interlace mode you drop all the way down into the 40s but let's do 4k now just for for the fancies so yeah 4k here we go Here we go, PC Master Race. It's you again. Hey, Gaming Maniac. How's it going? Whoa, I screwed up there. <laughs> Hang on. <laughs> okay, 4K, finally. There we are. And as you can see, the car didn't like that. So we're going for the lowest settings. Hang on. We're going to put the texture quality on zero gigabytes. <laughs> Because, you know... This is kind of demanding. No ambient occlusion, thank you. No reflections, no volumetrics, no surface scattering. Low shadows, thank you. No contact shadows. Shadow cache, we keep it on because it improves performance. And that should be it. Yeah, not the fulfilled. So let's save that and restart the game. So 4K lowest. And we're going to try interlace mode after this. How's your brother doing? He's doing fine. He's now in the basement doing thumbnails. Okay, 24 FPS. Let's restart the game now. Alt of 4. Let me see if the if the save file is correct. Hopefully the save file doesn't restart the entire game. Okay, F to continue. Okay. I restarted the save file. But we're still below 30. Yeah, let's restart the game just to be sure. We're going to start in this part anyways. So we get out of the game and we double check. 
although uh, 4K I'm going to probably use interlace mode, it's probably going to be best. And Ventured says, interlace is a game option, it's like the PS4, PS5 checkerboarding. Oh, so the, console is, the consoles use interlace mode? I didn't know that. I thought it was only for the base consoles. Interesting. So if they're using interlace mode at 4K on the PS5, this is probably PS5 settings, right? High settings, 4K interlace mode, maybe? That would be interesting. Okay, if at 4K I cannot get... Um, I cannot get 30s on the lowest, we're doing interlace mode right away. I mean, <laughs> that's not even a question. Hell am I? Okay, let's see. Yeah, no, it drops below 30. So let's do interlace mode at lowest settings. It's a 570, I mean... <laughs> Let's be realistic. Okay, much better. The only thing we're increasing here... Nah, let's keep it like this. I'm not going to... Let's just keep some some FPS to spare. Let's record this. So this is 4K lowest plus uh, interlace mode. Inter... Interlace mode, good. So we start recording, 4K, interlace mode, everything dropped to the lowest, and we're at zero gigabytes on the texture quality, which is a hilarious name for a texture option. That means that you have a terrible GPU, probably. So, uh, yeah, it's hilarious. I'll, I'd love to have a game and put an option called Potato. Alright, so now that we're here, let's do 4K, interlace mode, and we're getting over 30. So, why would you do this? I do not know. But it's an option. According to Digital Foundry, if you're not mistaken, they do use some sort of checkerboarding, probably the interlace mode. Okay, fair enough. Makes sense. I completely trust Digital Foundry, so... I completely trust them. I, I don't completely trust anyone, but usually Dig Digital Foundry knows what they're doing. So yeah, they're usually the experts. All right. Let's go. <laughs> La configuración de textura es perfecta para provocar suicidio, sí, literal. <laughs> That's hilarious, man. I love you guys. You guys' humor is fantastic. You never cease to amaze me in a good way. Okay, so combat is about to happen. Don't open that door. Okay, somebody's up there. Hopefully I get attacked in a second. Let me check the map. I really forgot where to go, but we're going to keep going. This is locked, so I cannot pee. That's all right. There's trees everywhere, and I'm not a woman. ¿Crees que Uruguay gane el mundial? Eh, me da lo mismo, la verdad. El fútbol me importa un comino, la verdad. How is Lady D treating you, Santiago? Great, great, fantastically well. She does everything correctly. Let's just leave it at that. She's an expert at what she does. MD fine wine technology. Yeah, basically. <laughs> yeah, it's locked. Okay, about to get into combat. Here we go, guys. I got a knife. That means combat is coming. But as you can see, super variable, the performance. So yeah, once you look into the distance, you're basically screwed on the frame rate department. So here we go. I wish we had some place to save the save the progress right now. But this, there doesn't seem to be any typewriters as of yet. Since this is the very beginning of the game. So yeah, let's continue. Hey, Andrea Occipinti. Sorry if I messed that up. How are you doing, man? Good seeing ya. Welcome back. Okay, that's not good. People, okay. Enemies are already here. Let's shoot him. Come on, put your head out. Okay. Oh, not dead yet. Jesus. <laughs> These guys are bullet sponges. And as you can see, once they attack you, you drop some frames. Oh, what, what did I... Uh, I thought the covering button was control. 
Let's run, run, run. Let's get away from here. I wish we could save it in this part. This is a great place to do benchmarks. But hey, whatever. I cannot use my family photo to open that door. That's fine. I'll find something else. There we go. Bolt cutters. No typewriter. And the enemy just disappeared. That's fine. I won't miss him. Cam fluid. Yeah, give me that. Nothing here. All right. Let's use the bolt cutters and we'll find a lot of enemies. Just don't forget picking up the shotgun again. <laughs> don't worry. I won't miss it. It's right over my face on this one. Yeah, no, this doesn't seem to be the way. And look at those zero gigabyte textures. <laughs> the draw distance with zero gigabyte textures. There you go. There is none. Oh, yeah, there is none. Oh, the radio. Yeah, this is the part when you get trapped inside the, the cabin and a lot of enemies are going to show up. Okay, let's keep going. Yeah, more ammunition. Hello, sir. Welcome. Okay, so I have a lot of ammo. I'm not going to use my ammunition. I can barricade the door, but I'm not going to do it. It's a waste of time. The enemies are going to show up anyways. It's kind of meant to be this way. Get out of here. Let me get out. Okay, I cannot get out. I got to shoot the enemies first. So yeah, let's stop recording. I think that will be fair. Yeah, no. I think he's reaching into the windows. What? <laughs> I can barricade the door. Okay, I'll barricade it and debarricade it after that. Let me see if I can heal myself. Oh, I need... Oh no, I can, I can craft it, yeah. No, I need a herb. Come on, please die. There we go. Let's barricade that door and debarricade it so I can get outside. <laughs> if that works... I... Yeah, that worked. <laughs> okay, I just needed to do that. Just move that furniture and you can continue, sir. That's basically what they're tr trying to tell me. He just wants the meal. That's why he's reaching into the windows. Yeah, it makes sense. I would have done the same in his place okay let's heal beautiful but as you can see this part runs okay the thing is after this here it'll drop i mean he's waiting for me 8k next no screw that screw 8k so yeah as you can see these monsters really love me here they want to eat and i cannot open this door as of right now that's probably coming after the castle, but as you can see at 4k, those textures do not want to load. So yeah. Anyways, let's go for the 1650 now. So we get out of the game. We do 1650, then 1650 super. And that would be about it. I gotta go. <laughs> so yeah, apologies, but I have to increase my pace. So... 1080p the 1650 is probably going to be 1080p medium to high so we're going for high on that one so let's swap gpus one second guys oh man this card is super hot jesus so time to do the 1650 no six pin connector there we go after this 1650 super so yeah Anyways, after this one, we're doing... Oh, okay, my audio is fine. So after this one, we're doing the 1650 Super and then maybe the 750 Di. I'm very limited on time, really. I have to be quick. I have like 30 minutes more. But anyways, we might do a separate video tomorrow on the 750 Di. Because you guys love it. I know, I know. You are all here for that card. 
but yeah two gigabytes on this game not going to work properly on the demo i was able to replicate that behavior when the old lady shows up the vram just yeah it says it gets the performance out of the window so yeah kind of a bummer but hey it is what it is anyways uh let's launch the game now we launch msi afterburner we put the underbolt which is almost the same frequency as the as most of the cards which is usually at 1840 sorry 1845 megahertz that's usually a 1650 super the, the 1650 non super and that's about it but yeah usually this game requires you to have a lot of vram and a and a dx12 friendly gpu so yeah that's basically the requirements and we're good to go hang on guys going to send a, going to send a message to someone while the game loads All right, guys, sorry about that. I was sending a message to a friend that I'm going to meet in a... I was going to meet in about 15 minutes, but I'm going to be late. So apologies, apologies. So let's do this quick so I can continue with my journey in Resident Evil. I have to change that resolution. All right, so... We go directly to 1080p, we're not going to bother with something lower. This card should handle it just fine. Alright, so 1080p high, that's the first thing we're going for. Interlace mode, not yet. Then on the on the textures we're going for Yeah, high 0 0.5. Mesh quality on max, doesn't make a huge difference. Ambient occlusion on SSAO. Reflections, yeah, give me those. Medium volumetrics. Shadows on high. Okay, someone saw, sent me a message. <laughs> and uh, what else? Lens flares, yeah, why not? They look cool. In this game, at least. Okay. So, this is mid-high, basically. Quick, someone read his, li his lips. Yeah, yeah. Maybe one day, but not today. So, this is mid-high. Whoa. That's not the correct button. I messed up. Hang on, guys. That's the issue with having one, only one keyboard for two computers. <laughs> anyway, so we're going for this 1080p, and this should give us 45 to 60 on this card. Variable rate shading. Let's put it on balanced, just to give us some oomph to the performance textures at 0 0.5 just to have some room to spare and that should be enough so yeah i'm recording guys patience patience <laughs> we're getting there that's what i told my friends patience guys i'm getting there i'm taking a bath and i'll be there ¿Qué te parece la resolución 3440x1440? Está de más pero come tarjeta de video como loco esa, esa resolución all right, guys, we are back here. We just finished killing the enemies, I think. Oh, I can barricade the doors. So I barricaded and debarricaded, and I should be able to open the door. Yep, that worked. Excellent. Okay, 60 frames here, but this is one of the best running parts. So let's get into combat right away. But so far so good, at least in this section. Let's get into combat, heavy combat with a lot of enemies. I wish there was a place to save here, but apparently not. There's no saving in this section with typewriters. Oh, yeah, give me that. Some herbs. Give me some healing. 
Okay, but it's running amazingly well. That's not the way. Uh, don't you lie? You got a booty call? No, no, I'm not handsome enough to get one of those. I wish. I wish. You had to be good looking to have one of those. A friend told me. Why am I so lost here? It's like I've never been in this map, but I've been. Oh man. Okay, where to now? This way? Oh, there's a guy up there. Let's shoot him. Okay, I got him. He didn't like that. He got shot in the face. Yeah, I think I'm missing a door, as usual. And I lost the shotgun, I, I think. I think I missed the shotgun as well. Oh, man. This is not going good. Yeah, I think I missed the shotgun. <laughs> not again. Oh, this is the way. Okay. Let's run away. Yeah. El juego crashea al matar enemigos y una 16.50 super y no sabría qué decirte. No debería crashear. Come on, get closer, guys. I have a present. There you go. Yeah, just like when the enemies get close to the camera. It drops frames like that. So it drops frames. Sí, los mods van a estar buenos. Eso seguro. Yeah, and there's going to... Big Chungus is going to attack me. But I'm going to die in this part so I can advance a little bit. But as you can see, it's pretty, pretty good on this card. Same ram runs together or buy a kit. Yeah, if you can. But it's not completely mandatory. It's recommended, but not mandatory. Okay, I think I died. Okay, yeah, I died. That wasn't... That didn't need to happen. Okay, I'm going to go outside again. Hang on, guys. Okay, yeah. The objectives. What are, what is the objective? Is it over? Is there a passage down here? Maybe. Okay. Apparently, there is something here that I missed. Hopefully. Hopefully, I can access that thing. Yeah, let's go to Luisa's house. Ah, whatever, let's go outside. CPU, you can find it in the description. Anyways, I recorded enough 1080p. Let's do 1440p now. Let's just destroy the GPU. So we're increasing the resolution to 1440. And after that, we are trying interlace mode. That should be good enough, I'm guessing. Come on, 1440, there we go. 1440p now. So this is without interlace mode. So that should be good to go. 1440, medium to high. We start recording. Start, not stop. So 1440p. Everything cranked up. After this, we're doing interlace mode to aim for 60, but overall should be okay like this. Remember, lowering settings doesn't change the performance that much. This is one of those games, unfortunately. Alright. I mean, if you have this card, just do 1080p. Don't bother with 1440p. Personal preference, of course, but I mean, it runs so well on 1080p that I wouldn't really bother. Yeah, this part is now closed. Let's open it up. I thought there was an enemy this way. There you are. Come on, burn this down, please. Come on, burn this. I want to be attacked, please. In the meantime, let's go grab some herbs. Damn it. No, not this way. Oh, hello there. Hello, mister. Oh no. Run. I forgot to get the herbs. There we go. Let's get some healing items. There we go, some water in my hand, makes me feel better. Here's the shotgun, yeah, there you go, here's the shotgun. Finally, 
1050, at least a 1650. I mean, with a 1050 you're screwed because you have only 2 gigs of VRAM, basically. So yeah, kind of an issue on this game. If you have, a, if you have 2 gigs of VRAM, you're kind of screwed. You're not going to have a good time. Okay, anybody here? No? There's no end nope. To them. Yeah, there's no end to them. You got that right, Ethan. Oh, hello. Shoot, shotgun to the face. Boom. Yeah, I love the combat so far. This is what I wanted Resident Evil 7 to be. Scary game, but you can fight. That would be great. So, I'm super glad that they now have combat as a main thing. Instead of being like secondary. So yeah, super happy so far with the game. Pretty fun. Holy hell. Get out of my way! I'm getting those shotgun rounds in. More herbs, good. Let's break this down. I'm going upstairs after this. But I want them to see the explosion close by. Come on, open the door. Boom, explosion. Drop those frames down. There we go, more stuff to pick up. Oh, hello there. Yeah, no, I'm not getting out of here alive. Whoa, headshot, nice. I'm good at this. I'm getting better at the game, definitely. So let's stop recording, let's restart the checkpoint. I want to record this again, but at interlace mode, it's going to be interesting. So I have to continue. Okay, we're back here, wonderful. I didn't lose my checkpoint, <laughs> great. I can re retry this. So now we're doing interlace mode and we are keeping the variable rate shading on prioritized performance for an extra performance boost. So yeah, let's start recording now. After I change the status, this is interlace mode. Um, so yeah, this is to target 60s. I mean, at 1440p, you probably do not care about 60s with interlace mode in this card. But hey, maybe some people want it. Who knows? Maybe. So yeah, it's going to be super cool to check that out. I'm, I'm super sure that this is going to be okay. Probably 60 is just fine with variable rate shading. I'm glad that this card has that option. Okay, let's get out. Let me open the door. Over. So as you can see now, this card is amazing still. This game is really... Really requires a DX12 friendly GPU. And this is one of them, as you can see. I mean, it runs completely fine even on interlace mode. Well, even without interlace mode. With interlace mode, you're getting over 30. But if you want to use interlace mode, well, you get a massive performance boost. So yeah, good stuff. I mean, considering it doesn't have a six pin connector, <laughs> I mean, I'm super impressed. Okay, I can heal now. Great, that's what I wanted. Good. Some water in my <laughs> in my chopped up hand. That sounds good. Sounds comfortable. Did you finish the game? No, I haven't. I started playing today. But so far so good. I'm enjoying it so far. I'm liking the combat. Okay, let's get the shotgun. There we go. Beautiful shotgun. Let's make some healing items, just in case I'm in a pinch. 1050 Ti is like at 960. Yeah, basically, that's a good, that's a good comparison, I would say. But you have more VRAM that in this game is super necessary. And thank you so much, Yan CGC, for becoming an awesome supporter 1.0. Welcome to the channel. Thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed those emojis and the icon next to your name. And again, thank you for supporting the for supporting the channel directly. Super appreciated. Welcome to the family, son. Ethan would say. I hope you're having a great day. And again,
Thank you so much. I appreciate it from the bottom of my heart and the top of my heart as well. So yeah, thank you, man. Thank you so much. It really helps make more content. As much as possible. Okay, shotgun rounds. Gimme, gimme, gimme. My shotgun is ready. Come at me, bros. Come on, get in. Make yourselves at home. Yeah, as you can see, it drops into the 50s when something is close to the camera, but it's alright. Okay, shotgun to the face, working perfectly, but as you can see, it drops some frames in this part. So it's not perfect, but it's... it's... it, it works. <laughs> Over 45. Let's see the, the big chungus. Come on, big chungus. Where are you? Big Chungus, where are you? Please show up. Holy hell. I'm going to die. Hace un emoji de RX 5700 XT. Bueno, se verá. Excuse me, sir. I need to go outside. Okay, I recorded enough of this. It's now time to do 4K because why not? So yeah, we do 4K, but at the lowest settings, let's be real here. Who's doing 4K on this card? Probably only me. Let me see if there is... Where is the 4K option? Is it missing? I think it's missing. Hang on, guys. Let me double check if I have a 4K option in the Nvidia control panel. Oh, great. I hate when this happens. Let me double check. Okay, 4K. Let's put it as desktop resolution. Sometimes games have issues with that. When I try to go for 4K, if my desktop resolution is not set to 4K, sometimes the game doesn't do it. Uh, 570 and 1650 will start with modern AAA, no doubt about it. Well, yeah. If you crank up those sections, yeah, definitely stutter. ¿Qué tal rindo inclusión ambiental de AMD? Hasta ahora no he tenido problemas. Sorry. <laughs> My stomach is asking for food. Okay, let's select 4K super quickly. And we're going to, whoa. And we're going to use interlace mode and zero gigabytes like before. Okay, 2160p, here we go. Put on your seat belts. This is going to be insanely difficult for the GPU, but that's fine. I like to torture my GPUs. So we go for zero gigabytes on the taxes. <laughs> it's hilarious that I have a zero gigabyte option. Ambient occlusion, no thanks. We don't like ambient occlusion in this channel. <clears throat> we like to disable it. Shadow cache on to get better performance. And that's about it. Yeah, that should be okay. So let's go for 4K now, 4K lowest. And interlace mode because, you know, without interlace mode, you're kind of screwed at this resolution. Finally, weekend for me. Well, welcome. Welcome to the weekend, son. <laughs> yeah, make sure to use an SSD, guys. It loads everything faster. And on video games, that makes a difference at least in my opinion, and on Windows as well, but on video games it's super noticeable, I mean the game loads instantly, so yeah, this should be okay, famous last words, yeah, <laughs> so you have chosen death. Alright, 4K now, on the, um, on the lowest settings, and interlace mode, so this is not actually 4K, but it's close enough, I mean it's a 1650, what do you want? So yeah, let's get the herb, and then we just swap to the 1650 super because I have to go. My friends aren't waiting for me, and they're not going to wait for long, and I want food. Okay, I think I missed something back here. Let me check the map. Yeah, there's... I think I didn't miss anything. 
All right, whatever. Not sure why it allows me to open that door. But there we go. I think there was more loot in this place. There we go, more herbs. Let's make two healing items. Healing items. Healing items. As you can see, I'm tired because my voice is breaking down and my English is kind of dodgy. Will you test Biomutant and Days Gone? Yeah, of course. As soon as they come out, I'm going for them. Without a doubt. I'm super pumped for those. Okay, here we go. Shotgun. Let's go get the shotgun. Run, Ethan. Run. Yeah, on, on DX12 friendly cards, the game runs great. The thing is, when you don't have a DX12 friendly card, well, that's it's going to suffer. This is not where the shotgun was. Let's go to the other building. Maybe here, I think. Shotgun, where are you? I need you. I need you in my life, shotgun. No, this is not the correct building. Oh no, I screwed up. Run, Ethan. Your wife awaits you. Oh no. Thanks, Menchard, for answering all the questions. <laughs> I appreciate that. It would be impossible to do it on my own. I think the shotgun was this way. No, it's not. Oh no. Run. Run and grab the shotgun. I think it was through some no stairs idea. this way. Okay, this way. Found it. Yeah, I need a fire extinguisher for this card. <laughs> That's for sure. Okay, here it is. The noise shotgun. Beautiful. I miss you, shotgun. I miss you in my life. At least I got the ammo beforehand. Okay, we get down. And we shoot this guy like we did before. Two for one. More pistol ammo. No, just scrap. That's alright. Hay un botón para empujar al enemigo, sí, pero tenés que bloquear justo a tiempo. Acá, mira. And then you do that. Y ahí lo, lo empujas. Guys, for the people that didn't know, if you block and press spacebar after you get hit, you can kick the enemy, like that, and shoot them in the face. That's a great new feature. I think it was missing, but I wish we got an option like on Resident Evil 4 and 5 that you can shoot one of the limbs and the enemies stagger. That would be interesting, but hey. It is what it is. We cannot have everything. So yeah. How many FPS does the recording remove? Nothing, because I'm using a separate computer to do the recording. And as you can see, here it is. Big Chungus arrived. <laughs> hey, Big Chungus! So here's the Bloodborne part of the game. Whoa, I'm screwed. But let's stop recording and do 1650 Super. Sorry for for stopping here, but I need this section for the recording. So yeah. Let's turn the PC off and we go for the 1650 Super now. There we go. And we're doing 1080p high. That should be just fine on the Super card. So yeah, one second guys, going to swap GPUs once more. Come on, get out. Get out 1650, so we did a great job considering it doesn't have a 6 pin connector. Time to do the 1650 Super, this one does have one. So you need a little bit more power, but I mean, it's so much better in general. Should be faster than the 570. In general, it is that way. So on this one, I'm expecting 1440p interlace mode, reaching 60 more often, and 1440p low with medium settings, maybe. ¿Te parece un youtuber que hace reacciones a canciones gusto es argentino? ¿Son gemelos qué? Ah, que me parezco un youtuber. Y bueno, pasame el link después por en el chat. <laughs> en el chat, en los comentarios. Y lo, y lo, lo bichamos. Ok, guys. So now the 1650 Super. Todo bien, Mariano y vos. 1650 Super, we're doing 1080p high. Should be 60 frames without an issue. I'm pretty sure. So, yeah. Anyways. Oh, my back. Jesus Christ, I'm going to die here. <laughs> Anyways, so the drivers seem to be working. Good. We open up a side afterburner. We put the underbolt going because I always have an underbolt option. 
and that maintains the card at 8, 1845 megahertz or something like that which is usually the stock settings i'm from uruguay brown boy i'm from uruguay a country between argentina and brazil here in south america the land of the of the something of the something something land land okay so steam is launching one second guys i'm going to drink some water allow me one Okay, my bad. No water in my room. <laughs> oh, I finished the live stream and start drinking water. Don't get the wrong ideas. I want to see America, Sabello. Yeah, South America, the land of football as a religion. Football, I mean soccer. In Costa Rica los conocemos de memoria. Bueno, gracias. Se agradece. Pero Costa Rica es una excepción. En Costa Rica nos requieren. Okay guys, so time to do 1080p first, then we do the rest as usual. This will be super quick, I'm going to re restart the part of the village over and over so I can have some consistent recording and that will be about it. I'll be good to go. Alright, 1080p. And let's crank it up, no interlace mode. We have a good GPU now, we don't need interlace mode on 1080p. Texture quality, let's put it at 0 0.5. That should be good enough. Mesh quality on max. Um, ambient occlusion, let's put it on CACAO, which is kind of difficult to say. Shadow quality on high, max is too much. Contact shadows on, shadow cache on, bloom, lens flare, depth of field. Yeah, that should be good to go. So this is 1080. Wish me luck, I'm going to need it. Now on this card, I don't need luck, I think. <laughs> we should be good to go right away. And remember guys, I'm recording, so that's why I take longer and I go through the options menu multiple times. Próximo stream con una birra. Bueno, se verá. No tomo cerveza, pero sabelo. ¿Por qué no? All right, guys. Back into the village. Let's shoot some monsters. Put one game by textures. Nah, I'm good. I, I don't want to lose performance and I have very little time in my hands. And the VRAM usage is already sky high, so nah, I'm good. <laughs> Should be okay, but I don't want to risk it. Maybe next time. Unfortunately, if you have 2 gigs of VRAM, you're basically screwed. But as you can see now, on the 1650 Super, the game runs completely fine. You don't really need much at all. Oh, hello, sir. Welcome. <laughs> I just shoot him in the face. That's how I say welcome. Although I'm the stranger in the village, I'm not one of the of the locals. Damn it. Good ammunition, gunpowder. Give me that. Jose, mira bien con mi 2080 Super. Sí, Sabelio, te va a andar lo más bien. For the people asking for a 2080 Super, yeah, you're good to go, man. You're good to go. Give me more scrap, yeah. Shotgun to the face, yeah, why not? Boom, shotgun to the face. So satisfying to shoot people in the face in this game. Come on. Yeah, those stutters when shooting an enemy and their head exploding is super annoying. Okay, I'm about to die. Hang on, guys. Going to make some items. Yeah, I need to heal. Ah, oh, nice. Some water in my chopped up hand. And there's some ammo for the shotgun down there. En 70 debería ir bien, sí. Sin problemas. Sin problema, jefe. For people asking about the 1070, yeah, it's not 100% DX12 friendly, but it's going to be okay. No worries. Come on, get in, so I can explode that barrel. Welcome! Another herb, good. Uh, oh, there's something to pick, pick up there. A crystal skull. And we now go upstairs. 
Yeah, it goes completely fine. If you have a 1660 Ti, it's going to be more than enough. I mean, look at the performance here. But yeah, looking good. And I'm getting, I'm getting, getting arrowed in the face, which is fine. I mean, it's a video game after all. Oh no, that's not looking good. Uh, that hurts. I'll make some healing items if I can get away from here. Hang on. I'm going to cover. Come on, attack me. And I kick you in the face. There we go. Now I make an item. <laughs> uh, 3x of VRAM should also be enough for low settings. Yeah, it should be okay. Just lower those textures, put interlace mode, and you should be fine. You should be good, man. Okay, here, big chungus. Big chungus. Yeah, not going to be able to kill them, that's for sure. Holy hell. Okay, I'm getting my ass kicked. Let's go for 1440. As usual, we do a 1440p30 and a 1440p60 configuration. And we'll be good to go. Hang on, guys, we're getting there. Come on. 1440, please, there we go. Neat, and we start the recording eventually. <laughs> so this is 1440p high. Then we're doing interlace mode and all that good stuff. So, okay, we got this 1440p normal mode. Everything cranked up because why not? CACAO. So yeah. It's going to be over 30 frames, then we're doing 60, that can wait. Uh, we restart this checkpoint so we can fight all over again. ¿Cuál era el promedio de la 570? 1080p, high, arriba de 60 en general. Básicamente. Come on, let me open that door. Don't open that door. Come on, Ethan. Over. Yeah, it is. Uh, will it work on a 750Ti? Yeah, but it will be terrible because you only have 2 gigs of VRAM and the game uses way more than 2 gigabytes. So maybe try 720p, interlace mode, lowest settings and 0.5% resolution scale. I know it sounds terrible, but it is what it is. It uses so much video memory that you don't have much of an option really. So yeah. Lo corre bien la 1650 Super, sí, por supuesto. Sabelo. Lo corre de maravillas. So guys, as you can see, if you have a 1650 Super, you're more than enough. Okay. If you have a 1660 Ti or a 1660, again, more than enough FPS. If you have a 1660 Ti, you can probably do 1440p60 very easily by lowering a couple things. So yeah. RX 580, yeah, of course. RX 580 should be okay as well. It has 8 gigabytes. Well, if you have the 8 gigabyte version, you can max it out without an issue. So yeah, I wouldn't worry too much about it. You should be good to go. The game just needs a DX12 friendly card. And you'll be good to go. We will try a 1660 Ti. I don't have it, so no way for me to do it. But uh, we're, we're doing more GPUs, yeah. Don't worry. We'll be getting there eventually. There's no end to them. Not sure when, but maybe one day I get another GPU. I have too many GPUs. That's kind of the, the issue at the moment. <laughs> so yeah, let's get more ammunition. Yeah, thank you. Let's wait for them to open that door. And we'll be good to go. RX 580 is a good GPU to play this game. Yeah, completely fine. Again. It's a DX12 friendly card, so you should have you shouldn't have any problems on that one. Anybody else wants to fight me? Come at me, bros. Okay, good. Shotgun to the face. That wasn't enough. Okay, another one. Another one. Another one. I feel like DJ Khaled. Okay, that was good. Let's now do interlace mode. 
This should be 60 if I lower those settings. Yeah, already doing pretty good. No fidelity effects. Well, yeah, let's use it. With interlace mode, it's going to help, that's for sure. Hang on, guys. I gotta start recording. So this is interlaced. So yeah, we start recording now. 1440, interlace mode. Variable ray shading on prioritized performance. Texture quality on 0 0.5. We're using SSAO for a few extra FPS. And that's basically it. We don't need to lower anything else. The other options don't change performance that much. Which is kind of a bummer, but it is what it is. So yeah. And after this we do 4K and we're good to go. Let me open that door. Don't open that door. Don't play Fortnite. I play Fortnite quite a bit in the past, so it <laughs> should be good to go. Okay, let's grab that herb before anything bad happens. If this wasn't bad enough. <laughs> yeah, not this way. Oh yeah, behind this door there's one, there was one herb. Herb or herb, I don't know how to say it really. There you are, found you. Then the other one was all the other way. Yeah, thanks Venchart for helping out. We love you. Here in Santiago, Santiago, we love you, Benchart. Always in our hearts. Oh, you're still alive. Well, we love you anyways. Either alive or, or dead. You are still here in my heart. You've been here from the beginning. And I've been in your channel for a while. So yeah, good to see you here, man. And you're still making content. Okay, more stuff. Yeah, gimme, gimme, gimme. Uh, gimme, 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 that shotgun, gimme, gimme, gimme. Another herb, good, let's barricade that door. Just for now. Just in case some enemy wants to get in. Okay, anything else to grab? Yeah, gimme that. But yeah, as you can see, 1440p with interlace mode, it's okay. Although, again, I'll probably do 1080p. Yeah, hard for you guys, too. And Ben Chart. <laughs> you know who you are. Okay. Got him. Got him. Another headshot. I'm getting good at the game, definitely. Okay, anybody else? No? Oh, hello there. There's no end to them. Yeah, there's no end to them. Good, so I can bench more. Run, run, run. You got this, Ethan. You got this. Let's get back in here. Shotgun rounds. Let's wait for them to get in. Come on, open that door. I'll open it for you. Get in, please. Come on, get in. Welcome in. Okay, he's gone. Reduced to atoms. I will watch the live stream later. Good night from, from Greece. Well, thanks, Jim76UH. You are always here. Welcome back. I hope you're having a great day. I expect you in the recording after this one. <laughs> it's almost done, so don't worry. We're getting there eventually. So, yeah. Anyways, attempt to do 4K. We're going directly for interlace mode. I'm not going to try anything else. This will be 4K medium. I have high hopes for this one. So 4K mid with interlace mode enabled. Or maybe high settings. I think high settings will do on this one. Hang on, guys. Okay. I think high settings will do. Nah, never mind. It won't do. <laughs> it won't do. Yeah, I love how an enemy proved me wrong right away. Okay, so we're doing no fidelity effects, TAA. We lowered those textures to zero gigabytes. Uh, we lowered that. What else? Volumetrics, shadows, contact shadows, no thanks, no bloom. Yeah, let's call it medium. I think that will be a good representation. Are you going to do RTX 2060? Yeah, maybe tomorrow. We'll see. We'll see. 
it all depends on many things. But yeah, probably coming tomorrow. Anyways, 4K, interlace mode, TAA, variable rate shading, max mesh quality, SSAO. If this fails, we're going to put it on off. And the rest on basically medium. We have no contact shadows, but we don't need them at 4K. <laughs> I mean, 4K on a 6050 Super, what do you want from me? But yeah, it should be over 30 frames. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. But I have high hopes. Okay, over 30 as of right now. But as you can see, this being faster than the 1650 allows us to have ambient occlusion at a very high resolution, such as 4K. Which I know the PS5 runs it at 4K 60, whatever. Doesn't matter. This is a PC. But hopefully soon we're getting new cards that can compete against the consoles. That would be amazing. Imagine having 4K 60 on a 50 series card. That would be great. I'm looking forward to that day. Don't look at me like that. Jesus, man. <laughs> okay. Good, good, good. Yeah, let's, let's close the door. And we get the shotgun. Our trusty... Beautiful shotgun. N1897. Delicious, delicious shotgun. Will it work properly on an i3 9100F 1650 Super Dual Channel RAM 8GB by 2? Yeah, should be okay. Just make sure to lower those stacks to high 0.5GB and cap, that, cap those FPS to 60 so the CPU doesn't suffer a lot when you get higher than 60. And you should be alright. Boom, headshot. But yeah, 4 core, 4 thread CPU should be able to maintain 60s on this one. Maybe some stutter when there's a lot of enemies, but overall, should be good to go. Seems to be more of a CPU, GPU heavy game. So yeah, 1650 Super, 1080p, high settings, 0.5 GB texture option, and you should be good to go. Even on a 4 core, 4 thread CPU. I mean... It doesn't require a lot. 3050 Ti will most likely have 6 gigabytes if we are lucky. <laughs> I'm expecting a 4 gigabyte card, really. But who knows? Maybe I'm wrong. Hopefully, I'm wrong. But it would be great if we get a 3050 Ti or a 3050. Give me a DLSS, a cheap DLSS card that is not a 2060. Okay, here we drop a few frames, but it seems to be good. Good enough. Okay, a lot of enemies here. Let's keep going. Let's go into, I'm going to explode all of them. So let them come. Get closer. Boom, explosion. And this enemy is about to kill me. Hang on. Ah, delicious. Mmm, nice. I think I'm going to basic Big Chungus. Hang on. Let's go for Big Chungus. Will 3200 MHz RAM work fine on a 6700? Yeah, should be okay. Where's Big Chungus? There you are. Hey, Big Chungus, here, over here. Okay, that's fine. That's enough for today. Let's get into photo mode. Let me see if I can move the camera. Can I? I don't think so. Anyways, so guys, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this live stream. I gotta go. It's getting late. So thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you tomorrow with the 2060, the 1030 and the 750 Ti. So yeah, expect me tomorrow to have those videos done. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Love you all. See you later, guys. Thank you so much for being here. Love you all. Bye-bye. Have a good night or a good morning, depends on what you